up on the Jesse James uh, because I think they were in this part of the county, country at one time, the Jesse James Yeah, I think were. around Libertyville or somewhere around that area, I'm not sure. Merrimack Cave Hits, that was one of the Well, I've studied them. So I've studied them, and, and the fact of the matter is, um, you know, as a young boy, he was raised up in the era of the Civil War era. Yeah. Well, it wasn't he raised in, in southern Missouri, too? No, he spent a lot of time in southern think, Missouri, uh, pertaining to hideouts and stuff, but he also went to Tennessee. Oh, yeah. He yeah. lived He lived over in Nashville, Sounds Tennessee. Like yeah. kind of two and and, uh, uh, and to up over towards, um, on the other side of Tennessee River, in a place called Johnsonville at the time. Uh, he lived over there for a couple of years. And yeah. uh, he had two children uh, that didn't make it, that wound up dying. They dug them children up a few years ago and brought them over to the original gravesite over here pretty close to Kansas City, Missouri. Mm. But I've studied him, you know, towards him getting raw. You know, his father was a Baptist minister, mm -hmm. and um, what they'd done to that family basically turned them boys ag against the, uh, the federal government or the Upper yeah. Ever Lodge, you know, the Illinois Central Railroad, and... Of course, you got to keep in mind that during the Civil War, it was common, common to have uh, grisly type brutal fighters back then. Throw him oh, down, okay. Joanne. Grizzly type fighters. He wants and to uh, they, they actually had a name for it. I don't forgot the name that they called it back then. Um, but uh, it, was, it was the influences of the surrounding is what turned, mm -hmm. helped to turn him back. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In other words, it was the atmosphere that he was adapted to, and of course, it's kind of like an animal. You can take an animal and you can you can train an animal to either be a good animal or a bad animal. It don't matter if it's a dog, cat, or a, or a cow. And he was around that type of brutality, and of course, whenever he had to shoot his way out of robbing banks, and which was wrong, he was wrong in in what that they was doing, even though they was giving a lot of the money to the poor. Um, that whole demeanor of that atmosphere wore on to his demeanor to the point that he couldn't get it out. After he went back home and was going to settle down and become a farmer, he did, it was too boring for him. That, yeah. that lifestyle yeah. was yeah. too boring too, for him because, boring. because he was already adjusted to, yeah, to the excitement towards shooting and killing yeah. and, and watching people scream and holler and you know, that type of vicious uh, brutality. Yeah. Can yeah. I get you all something to drink? Um, have you got have you got any tea? Do you have tea? Do you no, tea? I don't take have a, any tea. I got orange juice. I take yeah, water. Orange juice I take water. You take water. Yeah, you I want an water. orange juice? I, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Rita. Rita, Rita who? Dennis. Dennis. Rita Dennis. Your last name is Dennis. Uh huh. Dennis yeah. and Menace. <laughs> your last name is Dennis. Uh huh. He's well, Dennis my first Dennis. name is Dennis. Your first name is Dennis. <laughs> yeah. Did they ask, did they aggravate you about your last name being Dennis? Well, no. I I took that, that name. You took that name. That was yes, your that yes, was your marriage. married name. Yeah. My, what was your maiden name? My maiden name was Bob Gardner. Bob Gardner. Uh huh. B a u m g a r. And where did your family get raised up at? Over in the over in the St. Louis area? No, they got raised up in over at Summerfield. Okay. Over on uh, in Mary's County. Okay, yeah. is that part of the Ozarks over there? No, <laughs> don't think so. <laughs> How far down do you got to go before you start getting into some of the Ozarks? Because the Ozarks actually I, I splits. Part of the Ozarks is in Missouri, and part of the Ozarks is in Arkansas. Well, this, correct. Uh, Mary's, uh, where they, where my family came from, is uh, probably not more than forty miles from here. Isn't there a big lake down there? Down towards the Ozarks? Yeah, but that's the opposite direction. That's the opposite direction. Yeah, you'd go right you'd go right from here and to go to the Ozarks, but how far would that be? Probably Two? about sixty miles. Okay. Uh, yeah. Me, uh, I'm gonna come out of my shirt if you don't mind. It's a little warm in here for me. Keep it pretty warm. Yeah, it's pretty warm yeah. in here for me. Uh, Your I furnace put, is working good. That's uh, yeah, good. you got a good furnace. Yeah. Uh, I got an orange juice, Joanne. Yeah, I'll take an orange juice. I forget uh, that you don't do, do teas. But. I just want water. <laughs> you just want you got water. a glass of water, yeah. You want some ice yeah. in your water? Uh, 
maybe a cube or two, nothing big. So how did your how did your uh, your did she did she say Mark was her son? Her grandson. Mark is her grandson. Yeah. How did your grandson become so smart? Isn't he like a professor? <laughs> no, but he's uh, he's uh, he's pretty doggone smart. Uh, Isn't he ahead of something like fifty different school districts? Uh, he wasn't. And when he was in Alaska, that'd be enough. That'd be enough. When he was in Alaska, but uh, now he's uh, um, he's pretty smart. I'm not sure what he was doing. I I don't know. What part of Alaska? Anchorage? No. Um, let's see. Where were they in Alaska? Uh, Alaska. Uh, Fairbanks. 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 Yeah. Fairbanks. Yeah. Yep. But, they were there for a while. but was he a principal or or something up there? Thank he you. was. Um, Thank you. He was head of the school board, I think. Um, Man, he's awful political, then, isn't he's, he? He's uh, he's right in there with politics, isn't he? He's he teaches. He used to teach. Now he works for Apple Computer, I think. He was always good on computers. He had a computer when he was in the third grade, and he just. Computers was his thing. He just took off with it. And he just took off with it. And well, you know, back in the day, whenever you told me that your mother was a teacher, back then, teaching was a lot different. Mm -hmm. Today, teaching is almost like being a politician. Yeah. It teaching really is, is because if you don't teaching meet a certain cri criteria in the area that you're teaching in, uh, They'll vote you out, and that'd, that'd be the end of your career. Uh, in other was, words, you gotta you gotta walk walk the line, whatever that they tell you to do, or however that they tell you to do it. And each state's different. Well, teaching was, I guess it was in my family because my grandfather was a teacher, and my mother and and her two brothers were teachers. I see. So I only had I only had one uncle who. Uh, there was four children, and my grandpa, my grandma, and grandpa had four children. They had three boys and so one girl. So maybe that's worse. And I, I was my my mom was the only girl, but she was a teacher, and two of my uncles were teachers, and my other uncle was a farmer, and he was the grandpa. He didn't like Uncle Roy. Didn't like school, and he, yeah, he liked to. He liked to. He liked be, the grunt work. Yeah. He, liked he liked to, to work. do the grunt work. He yeah. he, he, raised, he enjoyed animals. We enjoyed yeah. planting stuff, watching it grow, yeah. being around nature, etc. And so he sixth grade he dropped out of school and he never went back to school. Right. And yeah. uh, I'm a drop out too. I can't lie to you. I dropped out. Was on my mom's side was a farmer. That's all he like. He did all he did. All. <coughs> and well, but now but now I so, dropped out because. I was going through a great deal of brutality in, in which Joanne would tell you our father was very brutal to us children and rather than me uh, uh, get beat up on, get whipped up on, uh, every time I brought my homework home, I got tired of it and I just quit bringing my homework home and the teachers back then would just kick you up from one grade to another, mm -hmm. especially if you had a farm because they was more uh, lenient with the farming community because yeah. back then, you know, you had to work to get the crops in, you had to work to get the crops out, and you had to spend a lot of time in the fields. Well, my grandpa was a school teacher, and two of my uncles and my mother was school teacher. Wow. Wow. And, uh, you done scratched me, so you get away from me. <laughs> I know. I don't know He's what that. Get out of here. Go. 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 <laughs> Teach uh, him scratch me. They, uh, do you need something to put on it? No, I'm good. Uh, but, uh, um, in other words, teaching the ability to learn must have been in y'all's DNA because look at your grandson. Yeah. See what I'm saying? He's pretty smart yeah. to be able to run, uh, what is it? 50 districts? Yeah. School districts. <laughs> and plus he yeah, works the computer real good. I mean, yeah. he's, he's got a lot of responsibilities there. Yeah, he's pretty Well, smart. his, uh. And he inherited, besides inheriting from my daughter, because she was an RN, 
She was a critical care yeah. RN. She was very, very smart. Is she yeah. still working in the medical field? No, she died. She died. Oh, I hate to hear that. She, yeah. she died, oh gosh, 18 years ago, I guess. Yeah. She was only 40 years old when she died. What happened? Um, cancer. Cancer, breast, breast cancer. cancer. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, she was 40, oh, I know. She was 44 years and four days old and died at four o'clock. Yeah. Wow. Four, four, four. Wow. Yeah, four, four, four. I've always, I've asked many wow. people that I consider Bible scholars if there's something in the Bible about all fours. Fours, I don't. But I don't, I don't know yeah. the Bible, so there I is don't. something in the Bible about the fours. Is there? Yes, ma'am. I I don't know where to find it. I don't know. It's in Revelations. It's in the beginning part of the six seals. I mean, the seven seals that are to be opened, the seven seals, and then after the seven seals, you got the seven trumpets. But I've asked myself a many, many times, how come God only chose four horses pertaining to the four horsemen? There's the white horse, the red horse, the black horse, and the pale horse. I've asked myself, God, why didn't you choose three horses oh, wow. or why didn't you choose white, five red, horses white red black and what else white red black and pale hmm. and you know why that there's four dynamics uh -uh. there's the book of revelation <laughs> north south east oh, and west, and west. Uh, the four points yeah mm. so there is something substantial in the bible pertaining to the four fours sure is yeah, and I've also well, asked the question, well, God, how come you chose horses? Why didn't you choose mules? Why didn't you choose donkeys? Because during the time that the Bible was written, mm -hmm. over in the Middle East, donkeys was donkeys, a very prominent yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, figure towards, you know, being, you know, transportation towards moving from A to B. How come? And, and I'm going to tell you what God told me about the horses. Whenever God flooded the old world and destroyed it with water, the horses that kept swimming and swimming and swimming day and night and night and day. God found more heroicness in the horses than he did all the other animals. Hmm. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah. The bears, the camels, the deer, yeah, the cows. You know, there's all Lots kinds, there, there's, yeah. you know, there's, there's giraffes, there's all kinds of different four-legged animals, but God chose the horse. And why did he choose the horse? Because the horse had a higher spirit that fought and fought and fought before it finally basically gave up the ghost. What was that? Was that your phone? Yeah, it's my phone. I don't know why it's doing that. It doesn't. Uh, Ping dinging. Yeah. It dings. Uh, it's, it's got been... a flip top there. Ping yeah. dinging. I'm going to get another flip top, but this phone is the camera and all that, and it's nice, but. I've got one of those like you all got, but I I don't do well with yeah. it. Can you only imagine if you was God and you gave up on humanity to the point that God looked down upon to the earth and said that he regretted that he had created man yeah, because of the sin of man. Yeah. Can you only imagine how heartbreaking us. that it would have been to have destroyed that uh, yeah. creation and yeah. watching all those animals and watching all them people suffer until they finally gave up the ghost? That had to have been one of the most heartbreaking experiences for the Heavenly Father to have experienced. Think about that, because God is a God of love. He's not a God of hate. He's a God of mercy. And he mm -hmm. has showed that again and again and again through bringing his son into the world so that you and I would have an advocate with the Father for if we sin, rather than God striking us down dead, he's very merciful. God, we live in, we live, we live in the law of mercy right now, the merciful law. Not the law like it was back in the old Bible. But can you only imagine how horrifying that it would have been after you created something to destroy it? Destroy yeah. it, yeah. Well, he, God creates things and he created human beings. And there's things about think, us that maybe he, he didn't realize when he created us. So he had to deal with it. Well, if you think right, about it, it was, it was Lucifer. Like, Man, they're way smarter think about than it. what think, I Think about this for a second. It was Lucifer, <laughs> the Antichrist spirit, that stood beside Michael that played a harp. That was considered one of the most uh, 
glorious angels in heaven before he fell. It was Lucifer that created his own demeanor. Yeah. His own attitude, his own personality that wanted to challenge the Heavenly Father in saying, I deserve the glory and mm -hmm. honor and praise. Mm -hmm. And that's where the fight began up in the heaven. And that's the reason why he got booted out. It's almost like he became jealousy. Sure, jealousy. Yeah. And, jealousy. and even Jesus said, for let it be known He's in their jealousy. law, in, in, in the Jesus. law of the wicked, the law of the demonic, the law of the Antichrist, he said, let it be known in their law, for they hated me without a cause. In other words, the evangelical, the evangelical world up in the heavenly realm done what they done for really no reason or no cause other than jealousy because they wanted that same type of glory and that same type of honor. And of course, Jesus said that Lucifer, the Antichrist, was a liar and a murderer from the beginning. From the beginning, in other words, he was a bad spirit that got created because God created all all things. God created, yeah. God even yeah. created Lucifer, believe it or not, before he was Lucifer. He was an angel. Of course, after he fell, he's no longer an angel. Now he's an evil demonic spirit. Yeah. He yeah. he done that to himself. Yeah. yeah. Lucifer done that to himself. So that's the reason why God today gives us the same ability to make a choice. choice. Yeah. To make yeah. a choice. We're, we're free moral agents and we can either choose to serve under the obedience of evil or we can serve to choose under the be obedience of good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And so, so much, so much evil in the world today. Isn't it though? You know, you said you was how old? 86? Huh? You said that your age is 86? Mm -hmm. Almost 87. Almost 87? Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is a... You, you've seen a turnaround in the world now probably three different times, hadn't mm -hmm. you? From the era of the World War II era, whenever you was a little girl. Then we had the Vietnam era, which went right along with the Korean era. Yeah. And then we had the, the Civil Rights era yeah. pertaining to uh, all the rioting and stuff after they shot Martin Luther King, after they shot JFK, yeah. to the era that we're living in now. Yeah. Yeah. And out of all the eras... You have to admit this. I'm sure that you will. This is the most grotesque era yeah. out of all the eras. Yeah. Because now it's not happening just overseas or it's not just happening with one particular group. Kind of yes. like back during the Prohibition days, you know, you had the, you had the, uh, the Al Capone. You had, J, you had the, uh, Machine Gun yeah. Kelly. You know, you had the fighting over, over territorial rights back then. Mm -hmm. Now it's everywhere. Yeah, it can sure. be right down the road. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. It can be right down yeah. the road now. I know. And it wasn't that way in during all those other eras. Yeah. Well, I, you know, it's sometimes I think about it. It's such so strange that you're talking about that old bench. Uh, when when I was a kid growing up, it wasn't that bench, but there was a uh, we had a double window in the kitchen. Uh, in the old house that I grew up in, and we had a a wooden bench that sat under the dumble windows, huh? and that us kids always sat on. There was a big long table set along there, and and uh, that's where where the kids always sat. Sure. And so when I got well, my son found this after the old school. Um, was no longer in use and it stuff was just people would just go there and help themselves to stuff and when my son was going to the technical college down here and he was living down the road with my uncle and he went over there to the old school just looking around one day without hunting and he went in the old school and he saw that bench and he called me up and he said, Mom, I found an old school bench in the old school. He said, would you like to have it? And I said, yes. And so he brought it home with him. And it went up in the rafters in the garage. And it stayed in the rafters in the garage all the time I lived in St. Louis County. And when I moved out here to Lynn, it went up in the rafters out here in the garage. And Man. But yeah. then one day you decided uh -huh. to and pull it down and use it for a showpiece. No. <laughs> what happened was 
a friend of ours that we used to play cards with. I see. Came out here. Him and his wife came out, and and it was he. They got out here early, and they and him and Glenn were out in the garage talking, and and he looked up in the in the rafters of the garage, and he saw that. He said, "Is that an old school bench?" And Glenn said, "Yes." He says, "Why you got it up in the?" in the rafters and right. said, I don't know, we hauled it down here from St. Louis. So they came in and we played cards. We all, we, we were. Rook? Huh? Rook? What'd you play, Rook or Poker? No, we played uh, Preference. You know, you know, remember, you know? Oh, yeah. We played you know, Preference, which preference. Is, okay. Preference, which is strictly an Osage County game. I've never heard it anywhere else. <laughs> Me neither. And is it a word perfect. game? Is it a word card game? No, it's a card game. Oh, is wow. it card game preference. with numbers? Call game of it's called preference, and it's uh, you have your four suits, and you take all the bottom cards out. There's the four again. You take all the four yeah, suits. <laughs> you take all the bottom cards out. Uh, you you start with a nine. You make your deck from a nine up. Oh. All four suits. I see. And, uh, What's the high card spade? Huh? Is the high card spade? No high card. Uh, no, there's uh, uh, the um, you could you bid the suits when you play the game. You bid diamonds, hearts, clubs, or spades. I see. And uh, uh, and or else the other the fifth bid is preference. And if you say if you bid preference, it's the the high cards. Kind of like shooting, are, a, kind of like the, shooting a moon. Yeah, the high cards are the ones that you know, and you you take your tricks. Was you good at the game? Huh? Was oh, you good at the game? Yeah, I was good. I was tough to beat. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. I was yeah. tough to beat, and I, if anything really made me mad was to get stuck with a partner that was no good. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh man! But, but anyways, uh, that old bench—you probably got your name written on the back of it somewhere. I, uh, so, uh, you love Johnny, and Johnny loves you, and I don't know. You didn't I, carve nothing in the back of that no, bench at one time. No, I only went ago. to that school through the first grade. Oh, I see. So uh, then, uh, that old school was back on the back side of the farm, and then uh, my parents moved to town. I lived with my grandparents that first year I went to school, and I often think I was such a spoiled little brat. Was you? My grandma had me the, all you these got everything. fancy little dresses, right. and she'd wash them and starch right. them and iron them, and oh, I'd go prison off to school. Just I can remember that, <laughs> and I would. Of course, we had to take our lunch with us, and I had a little square metal lunch box. And but you had the people in there. You had your 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 uh, classmates that that loved you for it. But you had others in there that probably despised you for it too, <laughs> right? You can't be friends with everybody, can you? And I I can remember getting mad at my grandpa would walk me to school, and I would only let him walk me so far because I was not going to have the other kids seeing me be walked to school. Oh right, you was and, you was a big girl. And <laughs> and one day we were going to school. And we were walking along, and I looked down, and I had two socks on that didn't match. I was determined I was going back to the house and changed my socks. And Grandpa says, no, you're not. You're going on to school. And it's too bad if your socks don't match. And... You're going to school. Today, I... that's the going fad. <laughs> yeah. Today, that's the going fad. What'd you do? Wind up pulling both your socks off and going in there barefooted? No, no. <laughs> you I... didn't think of that, did you? No. I went, I, and I said, I'm going back to the house and change my socks. And he says, no, you're not. You're going on to school. You'll be late to school. And I was mad. I can still remember throwing my lunch bucket at him. Oh. So, oh, man. so <laughs> then I really got marched to school, and I went to school with two different socks on. Oh wow! That was humiliating. I, I, isn't it funny how you remember? It's humiliating, such... but it was a lesson that you learned towards being more careful as you dress, how to dress yourself. And probably but, since then, you ain't never had that problem again. No, again. I've never had that problem. Again. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah. that was that was so. That was so funny. Well, let me I, ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Oh, yeah. Something? Stuff like that sticks with you. Huh? Um, 
your property that you got out here, some of this property that you got out here, is this, uh, do you till it out to farmers? Do they farm it or what? Well, no, I, I got screwed this year, pardon my French. Um, oh. A man, oh, he's a good church going man. Oh, you got to watch those. I've heard, those would be the slick ones. I heard all oh, from everybody. I asked, questioned a few people and somebody that went to church with him and everything. You usually and, rent out at, at home uh, on third. You know, the, the owner gets a third, but the farmer gets two thirds. Well, when he came... They split night, it right down the middle, you know, towards yeah. the cost and whatever it costed for the, for the material, whatever it costed for the beans, whatever it costed for the fertilizer. Whenever it comes time to harvest it, you get a third of the profit. Mm -hmm. And the farmer gets two thirds because he was the one that was putting the crop in. Now that's the way they yeah. usually handle it in Tennessee. I don't know what they do up here. Well, the deal we had was uh, that he would put the fertilizer down and he would, you know, cut it and bale it and everything. And, and he would give us a third. Okay. And he would get he would get a third, and then the other third, he would buy from us. Well, he gave us our third, he took his third, and he says, I don't want the third I'm supposed to buy. Oh, so he was reneging. With he it. was reneging. Yeah, he rigged and they reneged on the deal, and uh -huh. he, I don't know, the kids have got the papers over there, but I think maybe he even signed a contract to that effect. So now we got we got all this hay that we don't need because we don't have any cattle. And plus oh, it was a, a super good year towards all the rains uh, this past last year, yeah. 2019. I guess everybody had hay this year, didn't Yeah, they? there was an abundance of It was a bun of hay, abundance so. of hay this year, so. so. Last year there was not much hay, so he thought he was gonna need it, but then he didn't need it, so he was, I took him for his word, cause he's a preacher. You gotta watch, you gotta wow. watch him. Yeah. You gotta watch him. Wow, yeah. And I thought, well, he's a preacher. He wouldn't lie to me. Uh-huh. Yeah, those will be the first ones that will take the shirt off your back and laugh <laughs> while they're getting it. you got to watch them. There's scandals out there yeah, every day. Some of them are. And they're not all politicians. He's a wealthy man here in Osage County. Well, sure he is. He, look how he got it. Well, yeah. If, yeah. If, he, if he was trying to scam you, don't you think there's others that he's had a, a you know, done the same tricks on? Well, Probably got a pattern of doing it to other people. Well, you know, Peggy, the church that she goes to, well, he goes to church there, and when I told her I was going to deal with him, she said, "Oh, well, he's, well, that's a, he's a good man. He's a, he's a good church going man, and everything, and you don't have to worry about, about anything with him." Well, Didn't Christ say that they'd come in sheep's clothing, <laughs> but inwardly they would be nothing more than raging wolves? <laughs> So yeah. now we got all that hay, and there was an abundance of hay this year, so there ain't going to be no selling it. So what are you going to do this year? You're going to, you're going to have to do something with it this year, 20 and 20, you know. This yeah, is January. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do this year. You're going to have year. to sit down and write out a brand new contract, either with the same guy or find somebody or shop, put it online, put it in the paper, that you got a certain amount of uh, hay, a certain amount of property out here, and that you're looking for a, yeah, looking for a buyer. This time. Or looking for a partner. You wouldn't this be looking time, for a buyer. Yeah. You'd be looking for a. This time, if I do anything, I'm gonna, I'm gonna approach it differently. Appro I'm gonna have some, contracts. Somebody, he was he, somebody smart enough to know what the paperwork looks like yeah, before we get through. Yeah, and he brought because this handshake stuff, this he, handshake stuff. Oh, ma'am, I promise you, I promise you. Yeah. Uh huh. He, right. But he he wrote up the contract. And I don't have it. My the <coughs> kids next door. Got you the always copies. get copies. Wow. Well, they got the copies. You but, always make copies. But, uh, well, listen. How long have you known her? Huh? How long have you known Joanne? What? Ever since Angela and Mark got married. Yeah, I moved here in uh, 1997. So, and I remember meeting you. You're with Glenn out at the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we didn't really know each other though, real well for a while. I stayed at that trailer for a while. Joanne's okay. Mark she's a little. Didn't have to pay real Joanne's all right. Then, she's a little uh, scatterbrained every now and then, but yeah. she's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. How long have Mark and Angela been married? They got married. Did they get married in 1997 or 1998? Was it? My dad passed away in 1998. They were. They got married in 1997. That October, they did. 
Because I moved here in April of 1997. I was with Ryan for a while, and he left. Mark and Angela. So that's been a 30-year relationship right there, hasn't it? Um, no. 1997, 2000. Well, no, 7, 20, 8, 9, 10, 23 year relationship, 23 or 22, years. 22, yeah. 23, well, 23 years. 23 years. 23. Yeah. Well, they've they been like together because Joseph is 23, so they got to have been together a little longer. They got married in October of 1997, and Joseph was born in 1998. He was born in September. Who's Joseph? Oh, De Angela's first born her son joseph i see Martin i Angela's i haven't son, seen joseph. i had you got any pictures of them i got a picture of joseph do you yeah you got a picture of angela or, or her husband because i ain't yeah, seen a I picture of some, none of them pictures. and they're supposedly my family right yeah i didn't send that quite sending pictures but i've got some pictures of them. me and you's first cousins right yeah we're first cousins that means julie julie's a and johnny and uh, Angela, or Angela second cousins. are second cousins. Yeah. Who is this? That's Joseph. That's, Joseph. that's him after he's grown. He joined the Marine Corps. Good for him. Yeah. He's stationed out in Hawaii. Good for him. He's a good looking yeah. man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's good looking. Yeah. That's the only picture I got out handy right now. Yeah, I've got some other pictures. There's a picture of my, my bedroom of Joseph when he was little. I hung him up there. Well, you must be cold-blooded. You like it hot in here, don't you? <laughs> well, you know, you got thin know, blood. My, you my got thin problem, blood, don't you? My, don't my problem is I can't see, so I don't know what my thermostat's sitting on. You want me to look? Cause you she's, got it hot in here. I guarantee you, you got it hot. It's probably uh, at least eighty-eight, maybe eighty-seven in here. I don't know, but my thermostat's back this way. You got a flashlight? Uh. Well, there's a light in the hallway. I don't know if you... I know I don't have a phone. Here, let me use my phone. Yeah. Let me just use my phone. 